Hey everyone, this is Save the Guitar, episode number 32. And I have a really cool vintage pedal for you today. This is a Maestro Fuzz Tone, made in 1971, according to the potentiometers. Um, this was Maestro made in Lincolnwood, Illinois. As you know, the FZ1 uh, and the old uh, Maestro Fuzz Tones were really uh, popular with Rolling Stones, Satisfaction, and other uh, players like that. So this is a later model. It's, it's a bigger box. Has a pretty cool, looks like an LP kind of um, surrounding with a button. Has volume, balance, and sustain. And it comes with the original box, which is really cool. I just picked it up. So this is a very interesting pedal. It's very fuzzy, splatty, and uh, I'm digging it for, um, for more rhythm work. So before further ado, here we go. Clean. This is without the foot switch depressed. I hear a little bit of fuzz coming through. So if any of you have ideas why that's happening, let me know or maybe it's supposed to be that way. But anyway, here is the Maestro Fuzz Tone. So for this uh, demonstration, I'm using my Vox AC-10 and my Robin Wrangler guitar. Um, this thing is pretty cool. So it has a balance, so you can do fuzz, or you can do a mixture of clean and fuzz. with the balance all the way to the fuzz. Now the thing I've noticed about this, if the do a light pick attack, it almost sounds like a synth. Here's the harder pick. Isn't that gating? Really cool. Almost sounds like an REM kind of rhythm. This has two modes and sustain, sorry, the sustain is like a gate. Pretty much see myself just using it all the way like this. But check out this fuzz. This is a second fuzz. It's a little bit more bumblebee-ish. That's pretty gnarly. I like it personally better like this. Mm. 
really, really, really digging this. It'd be great to record on for rhythm parts and also for some leads. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are all staying safe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.